Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's uh, there's two parts to it, right? There's there's the um, excitement around here in terms of winning last season and you know raising a banner and and all the the fun stuff that comes with that. But uh, you know, there's also the the coach in me that says, hey, last year's last year, and um, we've got eight new players and uh, uh, you know a very tough schedule ahead of us. So um, yeah, it's nice. It, it's certainly nice. And it's, it's exciting to get back and see all these familiar faces around the rink. I know they're itching to play, and um, but you know what? It's a new season, a fresh start, and uh, you know a new opportunity for us to really carve our name and in, uh, in uh, you know and, and forge our own path for sure. You know what? Like. For me, just being a competitive guy, um, you know, there's no such thing as an exhibition game to me. Uh, Friday night, we're, we're anticipating a very good team at the University of Regina. I mean, um, uh, you know, a dozen major junior players on that roster and some darn good junior A players like, you know, we directly recruit with. So um, it's going to be a tall, tall task, especially our first one. And, um, you know, it'll be a tough feeler out game for sure. But, uh, you know, we're going to dress everybody and get a look at everybody and kind of gauge where we're at. And then Saturday afternoon, we, we play Briarcrest, who uh, came out here last year and played two great games against us. So um, it'll be, uh, you know, some stiff competition here before we head to Liberty the following week. But, uh, you know, there's there's no other way I'd want it. You know, you want to play some good teams off the bat and kind of gauge where, uh, where your team's at. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know what? Um, I love their compete. I, I love our group. Um, but yeah, three weeks of hitting each other. And, um, you know, uh, I think it, it definitely gets a little tiresome. So we're definitely ready to play a, a team with a different jersey for sure. Oh, man, everybody. I mean, we've got such a great core of returning players. I mean, we, we return five defensemen and, um, you know, nine of, of 12 forwards and um, you know we're, we're as deep as, as we've probably ever been you know where we where we definitely lose out is some of that leadership you know four fifth year seniors um, two other seniors that, that departed our program and um, on paper we're as good as we've ever been um, but you know you don't win championships on paper you win it through your your leadership and your team culture so you know we certainly miss those guys that did so much for this program but um, you know our new leadership group Carter Barley is wearing our, our, our C this year as our captain uh, Reed Arnold Jay Bucholtz and uh, Christian Cadolf are, are all wearing A's and are you know incredible leaders for us so um, it's going to be a, a quick turnaround time in terms of hey this is how we do things and showing those guys the ropes but um, I love our group um, but you know you, you do have a, a little soft spot for the guys that you're missing because those guys meant so much to us for so so long. Yeah our recruiting class was was great this year um, you know I kept it pretty small and um, you know, we're running with an extra forward and an extra defenseman and one extra goalie. So um, guys' spots are there for the taking in terms of, hey, being in there every night, even as a freshman. Um, we've got a nice small roster with, uh, you know, everybody that can interchange and play every single night. So I think that there's something to be said about that where um, guys aren't going to be sitting in the stands all year long. It's going to be, uh, you know, get in there and, and perform from day one. And, um, and that's what you want, right? You want recruits that are, are eager and itching to, to get in the lineup and contribute from day one. So um, our recruiting class, you know, I've been here. 12 years now. I don't know if we got a, a stronger recruiting class in terms of what they did last year, right? Um, but last year's last year once again. It's now the college game, playing against some older guys, and um, you know it will be a uh, you know bit of a learning adjustment for a lot of them. But uh, from what I've seen, I've, I've really enjoyed having the the new guys here. They're following suit really well and um, fitting in really really well for sure. They're all great kids. You know what? Uh, nobody ever likes my State. Nobody ever likes this program. You know what, I'll just go out there and tell anybody because you know, when you're you know, prolifically um, kind of at the top of the heap, everybody's always gunning for you. You know, we're always in that top five kind of ranking throughout the season. And, um, something about this building, something about that logo. Um, everybody that plays it just doesn't like it. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I think, you know, the year before we lost in the first game, last year we were lucky enough to win, win all four of them at Nationals. Um, I don't think it changes anything for us. We've always got that kind of chip on your shoulder. Nobody likes the, the Beavers, and, and uh, it's always going to be a tough night whenever you play us. So um, 
I think that we use that as motivation. We know that you know it's it, it's tough to get teams here to Minot, and um, you know when we have the opportunity to play those darn good teams, it's uh, it's always going to be a battle for sure. So um, you know, uh, again, last year's last year. This year's a new one, but uh, it's a lot of the same. You know what? It's never changed from the time I was a player to the you know to now as a coach. Um, it seems like whenever you're you're wearing that beaver, you're getting the best of, of anybody that's coming into this building or wherever you're going. And uh, you know, like I said, we wouldn't want to have it any other way.